soon as I get me a podcast queued up. What's the deal with Indigo? I'm sure I am minutes from remembering something I forgot. Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is Kara. Today, we're out here in the Mac Lake ORV area, here on National Forest, the Lupton entrance. We're going to backpack in, spend a night, cook over a campfire. We're just out here to get this good girl back out in the woods, aren't we? Aren't you excited? Are you excited? Oh, she's so excited. Okay. Okay, you ready? Thanks for joining us, guys. Ah, oh, this isn't so bad, is it? It's a nice layer of snow on top of the ice so I don't need my crampons. And the dog is happy. And once we get off the roads and the trails, she doesn't have to be on her leash. Oh, I should have brought the snowshoes. Didn't think to bring the snowshoes because there's no snow down south. I immediately regret this decision. Well, I guess we're making it work. Slow but steady. This is the adventure. In typical My Adventure Life fashion, over prepared in the wrong ways. Way more snow than the map said there'd be. I'd use a snow depth map. Oh, if I didn't bring this stupid 22 for squirrel hunting, I could have used trekking poles. Silly me trying to catch the end of squirrel season in Michigan. We're only like a mile mile and a half in but with heavy bags and no snowshoes this is dangerous so found a clearing with firewood i think this is going to be it so we only made it about a mile and a half from the car snow's a little deep for not having my snowshoes and my pack's a little heavy so i don't want to hurt myself or my dog found a new clearing off an old trail we hadn't taken yet uh, so we're going to pack down some snow into the ground and start getting the tent set up Oh, and there we go. Camp's all set up. Carabara's ready to go. Now that the tent's set up, I'm gonna load my gear into it, start my zero degree bag fluffing up. Then we're gonna put some bird seed out and around, try and feed some squirrels, eh? So especially in the winter, you wanna make sure you dig your fire pit all the way out down to the dirt. In the summer, you dig it down to the dirt so you know you're not burning leaves and stuff. In the winter, you dig it out down to the dirt so that none of that snow is melting in putting your fire out. Yes, thank you for helping me dig this hole. You're a very good helper. Then, you need to get out of the way. Out of the way. Here, look, look. Three or four big logs. Put them down on the hole. Those give your fire a nice base so you're not just burning right into the snow and ice. And then from there, you know, it's just little twigs and sticks. Build your fire up. Put your bigger logs on it so you got a nice base to burn on so you can cook with it. Oh, my foot's starting to cramp up because it's so cold. I didn't plan for snow. Oh, thank you for helping. Thank you for helping. You're a good helper. We also put some bird seed out. Just up over there. And then and then up over there behind the tent. Figure we'll feed the birds and the squirrels. See if we can't get a squirrel to hop out, eh? If not, still good time camping. Well, we got our fireplace all set up. Got our squirrel cooker there. Been calling for a while and haven't seen any squirrels. 
Kara's not okay with that. I'm okay with that. I didn't want to eat squirrel. I brought some venison steaks I'm going to cook up. Uh, but Kara wanted to eat a squirrel. Maybe sometime this evening or tomorrow morning. But I'm okay not eating squirrel. You can use a squirrel cooker to cook a lot of things. Got this squirrel cooker from Earl Triple D, Triple D's Forge. Uh, follow him on Instagram. He's pretty great. So I'm going to cook up a few venison steaks for Kara and I on the squirrel cooker. Uh, if you want to see that, you can tune in to Field to Table. I need an episode for my other show, my cooking show, where we take uh, meat from the deer I got during deer season and turn it into delicious vittles. But you'll have to tune in for that. Uh, I'm going to make some mac and cheese to go with that. So, you know, you'll probably see me making some mac and cheese. I'll put a link to the Field to Table because that'll definitely come out before this video. So, uh, yeah. Make sure you click that one. Oh yeah, look at that nice fire we got going now though. That'll take the chill off you, eh? Kara still prefers to be in the zero degree bag in the tent. I think while I'm getting down to coals so I can cook those steaks, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my water for my mac and cheese. You slide it through, it's got this little divot to keep it up. Then you put your bail handle up, which is why I got a bail handle pot. Put it right over there. Now you can just put it right on the coals usually, I do, but it's a lot harder to keep it stable. This, Even though it's sitting right on top of it, keeps it a lot easier to get a hold of, move it out of the way, and it, it's just safer. So that's my squirrel cooker from Earl Triple D's Forge. Always put your mountain house bags on the ground when you're pouring the water in. Otherwise you might burn yourself severely. Now I know Kraft macaroni and cheese is cheaper and possibly more delicious but it doesn't come in a convenient bag I can cook it in. So, since I don't want to do dishes, here we go. Oh, you guys can actually watch me try my test steak out, because Lord knows you don't want to try it on the cooking episode until you've figured out if it's gonna work well in real life. Yeah, and then my meat just sits there, and I, I rotate my meat every once in a while, eh? I think that one's gonna be the dogs if it doesn't work well. I moved over to the back side where there's a better coal bed. Let's uh, flip it over and check it, see how it's doing. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. It's got a little sear on it even. Cool. I should just mention what a good girl Carol was because those steaks were just sitting right there on the snow for about an hour and I wasn't watching them very well and she didn't, she just smelled them once and that was it. Good for her, she's a good girl. That's why she gets a steak. Just need to cool off a little bit before I can chunk it up. This is about perfect. It's only got a little pink left. She is gonna love this. I spoil my dog when she comes hiking. It's hard on her, especially in the winter. We're gonna tear this up, shake it into her food, and then I'll get back to my steak. Carol, sit. Good girl, there you go. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, I like the I like the venison steak study. Thank you. Well, someone's up and wandering around again. That bear bell was the best thing I ever got for her for camping. I don't have to worry where she is and just hear her all around me. Now that I'm finishing off my last piece of steak. Trying to get that fire built back up for the night. Look at her all worried I won't shit. It's not that steak made me forget about my mac and cheese, but I did everything right. I added the right amount of water in it. It's not creamy, it's watery, and the noodles aren't soft, which makes me think I'd have been better off going with Kraft. I boiled the water, added the right amount of water, I even kept it warm, and I waited till it cooled off, thinking it was one of those things that maybe it cools and, you know, thickens up, but it doesn't. So now I'm eating cold mac and cheese soup while the smoke from my smoky fire is blowing at me. Oh, look at this gorgeous, huge moon. Sitting by this gorgeous fire with a dog in my tent. I think it's about time to call it night, boys and girls. Ate real well, set up a nice camp, wake up early tomorrow and get at it. At this point, you can just kick some snow in on that fire if you're really worried about a forest fire in the dead of winter. But I plan on using that tomorrow, so I'm going to spread the coals out and, you know, just kind of let it die out, watch it die out. Because I don't want to get that space all wet and gross when I want to cook on it later tomorrow. Night, guys.
tomorrow for sure. Oh, good morning. Good morning from Kara to my adventure dog. Did you sleep good, sweetie? Curled up with me in my sleeping bag. So, I mean, it was cold and there were uncomfortable parts. Like my dog walking all over me. But I've definitely slept worse. Not so bad for the fourth season in a three season tent. Most mornings we won't do a fire. Because we just want to get up and go in the winter, but... I have some free time today. So we're going to cook a little breakfast, get a little warm. Let Kara enjoy the outside a little bit more. I don't actually like most mountain house breakfasts. So I'm going to go ahead and have chicken and mashed potatoes to share some with Kara. I cook these a little differently than the instructions. The instructions have you heat up these chicken patties in this bag beforehand. The only thing I do different is I will go ahead and break that chicken up. Because uh, then you have mashed potatoes to pour in there. And it just becomes like, you know, like one of those KFC bowls with the chicken in the mashed potatoes. It's kind of like that. Then you don't have to worry about pulling the chicken out and where you're going to put it while you wait for the mashed potatoes to cook. Here we go, let's get that water warm, man. Save a little space. I'll usually wrap my pad up, put it on the inside, and pack everything down the center of that. Gives you a nice little tube. That's where I'll put my sleeping bag and all those quilts. This is the hard part, getting a zero degree bag into anything. But you can see the issue, it's just so big. You gotta get all that air out of it as you go. I've got enough room up top for all my other crap. Well, camp's mostly packed up except for some Kara stuff and some food stuff. My chicken and taters are really good. Super warming for the long hike through two feet of snow out without snowshoes. It's only about a mile and a half, but without snowshoes, it might as well be five. It's terrible. After we finish eating, we're just gonna, you know, drink some water, finish packing, get back to the car. Your best shot hiking out like this without shoes is to just stick to the trail you made yesterday, man. Slow and steady, don't break an ankle. Well, you know what they say about winter camping. It rocks. Oh, bad joke. Oh, solid ground. All right. Oh, finally. The beauty of the car. Oh yeah, you excited to be done? Get ready to go home. Come on, let's go. So there you go, man, back in the car, ready to go. You know, if you like this one, even if you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, throw us a bone, man. Uh, click subscribe down in the lower corner somewhere. It's been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.